For this project, we worked with a hospital for our new treatment center for dementia. And so we uh, wanted to make works that relate to time and to memory and to uh, healing and wanted to kind of invent uh, or in introduce some um, sort of, uh, how do you say this, like dignity or something like this into the, the works. We wanted to make a, a, a three-dimensional photographic kind of image of the tree at one stage and then see the living tree kind of develop and uh, the copy remaining as a, as a sort of a memory or something frozen in time. We first found a good tree that we would produce and then we took some thousand photos of the tree and then these are turned into a 3D model. So and it seemed that uh, Tetra Shell was a very suited way of making the 3D model into a bronze cast. In this project, the, uh, the artist had a scan from a real life tree, a 3D scan, and they wanted to have it in bronze. So we searched for a material that we can uh, use in the 3D print and then we can cast right away. So the inter interesting uh, about this project is that we found that material, tetra shell, that we can use directly in lost wax casting without making a mold and a wax model. So we uh, had a test part, used it, and, uh, yeah, and the results were really good. Actually, with using tetra shell, you can skip a few parts of your uh, normal process because you have a product that's uh, printed and not have a product that you would do the traditional way but making a mold and making the wax model so that saves a lot of time and money. Yeah, we're constantly working with new um, ways of expressing uh, different ideas and thoughts, mm. different materials, different techniques, different approaches. Um, usually it's sculpture or installation we're working with. Materializers proved to be um, very good in, in keeping up a dialogue of, of how we um, can actually uh, process this idea. And, and they have also been very open um, towards collaborations with uh, new uh, companies. Or for example, the, the foundry in the Netherlands, uh, the Thomas Sien Art Service, um, that had actually never worked um, with uh, Tetra shells before. I think for a lot of artists, and maybe especially young artists, they make uh, they make their project directly in CAD software or on, on design software in 3D and the computer. They have an STL file, and how do you get that STL file in a bronze or aluminum sculpture? And in this uh, material, you can let it print in this material and use it in the lost wax casting. Having a material that actually works like wax. That's changed for me a lot. So now there is a product you can use to, to do lost wax casting, lost tetra shell casting. Materialize has always been very, very open and very direct and uh, very curious um, about our um, project, and that really helped us to uh, to realize in the end. But yeah, the most important part is really to for us to, uh, to surprise ourselves, to, to um, develop something that we feel uh, hasn't been there mm. yet.